At Aldi, we bought the Clancy's Crinkle Cut Moscow Mule Kettle Chips and the Bloody Mary Kettle Chips. We also bought the Specially Selected Lattice Cut Roasted Garlic and Sea Salt and the Aged Cheddar and Black Pepper. Uh, they're both kettle chips. We bought the Clancy's Lattice Cut Tailgate Taquitos and the Seven Layer Dip. We bought these, uh, these are uh, red wine pairing chocolates and white wine pairing chocolates. We're just gonna be trying them minus the wine, but it's, you know, um, not everybody drinks wine. So uh, then I bought these Millville Simple Nut Bars. One of them has peanut cashew and almond and then peanut pumpkin and sunflower seed. We bought the uh, Bakehouse Cinnamon Donut Sticks. We bought the uh, chocolate chip. These are chocolate filled cookies. And then these are rich chocolate brownies. Uh, we bought this uh, Belmont Cheesecake Fall Sampler. It has pumpkin swirl, s'mores, caramel apple, and maple flavored pumpkin pecan. We bought these macarons. You get uh, raspberry, vanilla, pistachio, salted caramel, lemon, and chocolate. And then Kevin's going to be trying all of these on his Lunchtime Review channel. So if you're interested in, in these, They'll be on that channel because you can heat all of these up in the microwave. We have the Thai coconut chicken, the stuffed turkey breast with cranberry and sausage stuffing, pork tenderloin with apples, seasoned pulled chicken with barbecue sauce, broccoli stuffed chicken, seasoned smoked pulled pork with barbecue sauce, and Hawaiian style chicken. And then at Walmart, we bought two new uh, ink cartridges. We bought a black and then uh, two of the color ones for ink. Only because that's the only thing they had. Yeah, that's, the two yeah they had the two packs, so that's what we bought. And then uh, these are in the refrigerated section. They're vegan, uh, protein, non-GMO. They're, they're keto bars. Uh, chocolate chip cookie dough, um, peanut butter, chocolate chip cookie dough, and double dark chocolate cookie dough. I found the Post Fruity Pebbles candy bar. We'll be trying that soon. Uh, these are Nubu, I guess is how you pronounce it, nut butter bites. We have cashews, pecans, and peanuts. I bought a Betty Crocker Super Moist uh, Party Rainbow Chip Cake. Some of the Safe and Fair Honey Crisp Apple Pie Granola. We bought uh, two cans of Spam. Uh, remember this later though, because I'm going to show you another can later. This is a regular, and this is hickory smoke flavored. We bought some coffee creamer. I bought two Dan and Light and Fit yogurts back there, both in the vanilla. Uh, some cherry pie filling, just the great value. This is, uh, Kevin picked these. These are Italian uh, beef, uh, Italian style beef mini sticks, chomps, chomplings. This is, um, what's... That's just the original. One's Italian, one's original. Okay, I see. Italian and original. I see that. Okay. And then we found some cookies at Walmart that we have not tried. Uh, we haven't tried the Decadent Cowboy, the uh, Rocky Road, the Oatmeal Raisin, and these are white chocolate chunk uh, macadamia nut. Uh, Kevin bought some chips, Lay's Classic Sour Cream and Onion and Barbecue, and then just some of the regular. We bought some Southern Comfort Eggnog and some Fireball uh, uh, Cinnamon Holiday Nog. And then we bought some Quilted Northern Toilet Paper and a loaf of bread. So give us just a minute to clear off the table and then we'll uh, reload. At Meyer, I bought the Little Debbie Birthday Cake Mini Muffins. Uh, I bought the Crush Sour Patch Kids Berry Drink. And this is why I told you to remember the Spam because I've got the Spam with bacon. Um, and then all of these meats that you're gonna see, Kevin is gonna review once again on his Lunchtime Review channel. All of these things, we made sure they could be microwaved and so he's gonna be reviewing them over there. These are called Holmes uh, Smokehouse. Clearly they're from Texas. Uh, this is the Pecan Smoked Sliced Chicken Sausage. This is a sliced original, and this is sliced uh, uh, kielbasa, and then we have sliced chicken andouille. Uh, then we have, this is called uh, family owned, it says Big Shoulders Smokehouse. So we have some baby back pork ribs and barbecue sauce, and boneless pork loin chops, which look delicious. And then this is the same brand, uh, pulled pork and barbecue sauce and pulled chicken and barbecue sauce. Then at uh, 
Cracker Barrel. Um, I know, I made a commitment that I was not gonna buy any more Too Good Gourmet, but I've never seen Too Good Gourmet brand that looks like fresh cookies like this. So, uh, they've always been like packaged like these. Uh, so I, I thought I'm gonna give them, I'll give them one more chance. So this is the brownie batter cookies and the pineapple cake batter cookies. And then we found this mascot snack company, uh, peanut butter bears and mint penguins. And then uh, this is a del uh, del delicio holiday hot chocolate collection. So they have uh, double chocolate, French vanilla, raspberry, gingerbread, salted caramel, hazelnut, toasted marshmallow, and peppermint. So we'll be reviewing those. At Target, uh, we bought, we'll start way over here, the Simple Meals uh, Almond Flour Crackers. We bought the Sea Salt, the Farmhouse Cheddar, the Rosemary, and Sea Salt. In the back, we have some Baconettes Chicarones in the Hot Sauce and in the Honey Mustard. We bought the Little Bites Cookies. Uh, we've never had their cookies. Uh, we bought some Red Bull. Uh, we've never reviewed Red Bull. This is the original Red Bull energy drink. This is a coconut, peach, and I know there's a lot, blue, I know there's blueberry, I know there's many flavors, but those are the four that uh, were on an end cap, so those are the ones we'll start with. Uh, then we uh, bought these Partake birthday cake, these are all uh, crunchy cookies, birthday cake, chocolate chip, and cookie butter. And then I bought a bunch of granolas, uh, Good and Gather brand, which is a Target brand. So I bought the uh, pumpkin spice, the apple streusel, and then these are out for uh, Christmas. These are all limited edition. Uh, dark chocolate peppermint and gingerbread cranberry. And then I bought some wrapping paper, which I did not need at all, but I absolutely love this. These are Disney characters, and it's like Disney characters as a kid. And so, like, they have Alice and uh, Stitch and the White Rabbit. They have um, what's the Jungle Book, and I mean, Lion King, Aristocats, so, um, and then I bought, I saw about two of those, because I love it so much, and then I bought an LOL, uh, wrapping paper, and then at Home Goods, uh, we saw this brand, we've never had these, these are Smush Whole, Whole Food Balls, so we have Cacao Brownie, Peanut Butter and Caramel, Cherry Cashew and Cacao, and roasted hazelnut and cacao. We bought the Project 7 Gourmet Sourly's uh, Sour Chewy Gummies, and there's four flavors in there. We bought uh, five bags of Sugar Pova. This is white chocolate strawberries and cream, milk chocolate rum cherry, milk chocolate hazelnut, dark chocolate cafe mocha, and dark chocolate raspberry. We bought some, the Sonoma Creamery Pepper Jack Crisps, Cheddar Crisps, Savory Sea Parmesan Crisps, and just Parmesan Crisps. In the back there, we bought some Baked in Brooklyn uh, Flatbread Crisps. These are Rosemary, Garlic and Parmesan, The Works. These are Sesame Sticks, and then these are Multigrain Pita Chips. I bought this game, it's called Never Have I Ever Family Edition. I just thought we would enjoy playing it with the family, just sitting around the table asking each other questions or whatever. Um, I have no idea what to expect of these. These are, it's Sahika, a milk chocolate almonds and milk chocolate fruit and nut. And I just thought they were really pretty containers and I don't remember, they're made in Turkey and I don't remember ever having that brand. This was really cool. Uh, this is the, um, hold on one second. Okay, I'm taking over the filming. Kevin had a phone call. Uh, this is the Magnet brand. It's M-A-G-N-A-T. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but there's three different kinds of pralines in here. You have cherry, hazelnut, and caramel, and they have these in packages by themselves like you could get a package of all hazelnut or all caramel or, and so i was happy that i could find all three flavors in one package and then i've never heard of this brand this is called keats london 
uh, the Chocolatier's Milk and Dark Chocolate Selection. So um, there is all kinds of uh, chocolates in here for Kevin and I to try. I'll do a review on. I can't wait. Um, just so you know, Home Goods, uh, you know, we were kind of worried about them at this time getting stuff in for Christmas, Christmas candies and stuff like that. They have had a lot. They've had stuff from all over the place. Um, this just says M, and I'm sure there's a brand on the back. Um, it's M I N C U Gourmet. Uh, but these are tea, red tea chocolates, dark matcha tea chocolates, black tea chocolates, and uh, matcha tea chocolates. And then we bought some caramels. These are Happy Sweet uh, is the brand, and it's sea salt caramels, uh, chocolate caramels, and uh, coconut caramels. And then we bought some Mazico. These are Dobletto, uh, I guess because you get twice, you get two uh, flavors. You get coconut and coffee and cream. And then these chocolate bars, we've never tried this brand either. It's Leaf. And I don't know, let's see where these are made. Uh, they're made in Scotland, Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, so we bought the Scottish sea salt, the, oh, they're all Scottish sea salt. Oh, okay. So we have dark chocolate and then milk chocolate in the Scottish sea salt. And then the last one, it's a really pretty packaging, is a dark chocolate gin and tonic. And it says right on the front, if I had looked, a product of Scotland. So now let me clear off some space and I'll be back. We have one more store to show you. Okay, remember I just told you that I had given up buying two good gourmet. Well, they had these cookies in Tuesday morning. So, um, I wanted to try them. These are two good gourmet and these are also two good gourmet. Uh, these say simply indulgent gourmet, but it's two good gourmet. It's the same picture. It's the same, well, it's the same company. So, these are chocolate chunk cookies. I've never seen them in a great big package like this before. So, I bought these and the white chocolate cranberry chunk cookies. These are actually, they come together. So, you had to buy both of them. So, I know you see two of the pumpkin cake batter, but this is the only way you could buy them. You just had to double up if you wanted to try the other flavors. So, we wanted to try the maple pecan and the caramel apple. So, you just had to try them both. So, if we don't like them, we give them away anyway. So, it's not like it matters. Um, then, I've always wanted to try one of these. They had this one, uh, Yahoo Baking Company. They had this one and a chocolate one. They're, they're expensive, but Kevin's like, go ahead and get it. And so, I went ahead and got it. It's a rum crunch uh, cordial cake. And then these were pricey, which you'll find out prices in all these reviews. Uh, this is dark chocolate almond squares, uh, toffee, and dark chocolate pecan. So almonds and pecans. And then this is that uh, Mozart, but this is the summer edition. And this is raspberry and white chocolate. So we'll be trying that. And then these are uh, Mississippi Cheese Straw Factory. So these are cinnamon pecan straws and toasted almond cookie straws. And then these are um, Dolan. I don't know how you pronounce that. Dolan Estate Dolan. Bakery. Uh, we have Sriracha, Chipotle, Key Lime, and Sea Salt Caramel. And then the Hampton, Hampton Popcorn Company uh, they had, um, we've tried some of the Hampton Popcorn Company before and it's really good. This is the, uh, Holiday Pop with white chocolate. This one is Peppermint Mocha Crunch. This one is white and dark chocolate with pretzels and chips. They also had like peanut butter, which we've already tried. And then they also had, if you're interested, they had some really nice tins too. Okay, this is part of the grocery haul too, two pumpkins, but we're not getting them out of the car. We bought these at Walmart. Do you know how much they were each? $3.29. They were like $3.29 each. If you can get them at Aldi, they're cheaper at Aldi, but we didn't know that. But I would suggest getting them at Aldi. 
At the Dollar General store, we bought the Mother's Reindeer Games Circus Animal Cookies. Now, I know these are gonna taste the same as the regular circus animal cookies, but I figured you all would wanna see how big they are and the different shapes and stuff like that, so we got those. Uh, we also got the Orange Crush and the Grape Crush because I searched my channel and we have not reviewed those, and we'll review that along with the um, Sour Patch, the blue one. Uh, we bought the new Twisted Holiday Punch Sweethearts Ropes. Uh, these are Frosty Nerds, Watermelon, Wild Cherry, and Punch. I didn't see where we had ever reviewed those. Um, we found the new Doritos Twisted Lime. And then Demet's Turtles. I bought the Caramel Sea Salt and the Original Pecan. And then at our local uh, service station, Gasoline Alley, um, they had Krispy Kreme Jumbo Honey Buns. These have probably been around forever, but we've never reviewed those. So they had the Jumbo Honey Bun, but then they also had a Cinnamon Bun. I didn't know they made that, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then we bought some more um, Red Bulls because we've never reviewed Red Bull. Uh, we bought the Yellow Edition, which is Tropical, the Green Edition, which is Kiwi Apple, the Red Edition, which is Watermelon, and then this is a Sugar Free so just regular but sugar-free and then we bought the new bob evans this is cheddar ranch macaroni and cheese kevin will review this on his lunchtime review channel because you can microwave it and then we bought a package of two chicken breasts